Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to get started with the new version of Homologa. Once you have this page open, you can see that we have three tabs in the horizontal top menu bar. The Home and Search tab, the About Homologa tab, and the Contacts tab. The Home and Search tab allows you to log in into the Homologa database. About Homologa allows you to read some more about Homologa and you can find our contact information in the Contacts tab. To get started, we will now proceed to the login by clicking on the login button. In the login window, type in your username and your password. The login window also allows you to choose some specific language settings. For now, we will select the default language and then press login. Now we see the limitation of liability and in order to continue, these need to be accepted. Once you see this page, you are logged in correctly. In this picture, you can see a quick overview of the Homologa database. You can also see the maps where the countries we have information from are marked in specific colors depending on the type of information we have. I will now show you what information you can find in the Home and Search tab from the horizontal menu. This tab allows you to run different types of reports. Below, in the left column, you can see the vertical menu with three menu points. You can run three different types of reports from this particular menu. You can run product registration reports, MRL reports, including comparison with product registrations, and you can run Commodity Export Import Statistic Reports. If I go on the Product Registrations menu point and drag my mouse over it, the submenu appears. The submenu gives you many report options. You can run reports on brand level, reports with brands and crops, which can be selected by specific crop groups or crops. You can run pest analysis reports, this option also allows you to select by individual pests or pest groups. Reports for seed treatment only. Reports that show the latest new registrations. This option allows you also to select the time frame. You can run reports that show the latest new registrations including the crops. And these reports allow you to compare which product is registered in which country. If I now go on the MRLs menu point, again dragging my mouse over it, the submenu appears. The first submenu point gives you detailed reports about the MRLs. Then you have reports that show you country comparisons. The next submenu allows you to show a combined view of registered products and its MRLs. You can run reports on new and modified MRLs, and in the last submenu point, you have the average daily intakes, the ADI, and the acute reference doses, the ARFDs. The third and last menu point in the vertical side menu allows you to find export and import statistics for food, other agricultural commodities, and ornamentals. Now that we have seen what information can be accessed, I will show you an example of how to extract a report for registered products. I go back to the product registrations and click on the first sub-menu point, Brand Level. Once the page is open, you have different selection possibilities. At the top, you can select by region or by country. If you select by region, the referring countries are shown in the country list box on the right side. For example, if I select Europe, all referring countries are shown in the country box. You can also see that they are all marked in grey or blue, that means that they are all selected. If you wish to deselect one or more countries, hold the control key and deselect the countries you do not want to have. Now if you want to show the complete list of countries again, you go to the region and select the first empty line. All countries are shown again. Now if you want to select individual countries from the list, hold the control key again and select one or more countries from the list. The countries selected are marked in blue. Then you also have other selection options. 
You can select by active ingredient by simply starting to type in the name of an active. The more letters you type in, the more precise the shown list of actives will be. For example, if I type in Cypermeth, you can see that there is a list of active ingredients shown. I can select one of them, or just leave it to the first letters and the whole list will be shown. This gives you two selection options, or you select a precise active name given to you in the list, or you choose to just leave it to the first letters you typed in and this will give you all active ingredients that contain these letters. The other selection options are similar types of selection. You can select by trade name, by company group, which are the multinational companies, or by company, which are the individual companies in the countries. There is one more selection option. You can also select by product type. In this field, you can select one or more product types by holding the control key. The selected product types will be marked in blue. Under the product type selection box, you can see that there is an advanced checkbox. The advanced checkbox allows you to select by formulation or to select parallel imports only. The product use status allows you to show only registered products or last use date expired products. As default, this is set to all, which will show you all the registered and expired products. Now that we went through the selection options, it is important for you to know that the minimum selection you have to make in order to extract a report is to select one country. Once you have gone through the selection process and selected everything you wanted to, you can proceed to the submission by clicking on the Submit Query button in the left hand corner. The report extraction might take a few seconds depending on the amount of data to be processed and collected. The extracted report will be shown to you below the selection option window. The manipulation of the reports will be shown to you in another video tutorial. I have now shown you how to get started extracting reports on product registrations. For all the other reports, the selection process is very similar depending on the content. To log out from Homologa, you simply go to the top right corner and press log out. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching.